What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sammy, two times back at y'all another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to this little Jalen Hurts, Daniel Jones debate on the first take. We're going to get straight into it. Screen recording starting in three, two, one. Feel me? And uh, yeah, drop a big like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to post notifications on all. We're going to get straight into it, man. Saturday's NFC Divisional playoff game between the Giants and Eagles is set to feature two of the league's best rush offenses, with the Giants ranking fourth in the regular season in rush yards per game, Saquon Barkley rushing TDs and yards before contact. Meanwhile, the number one seeded Eagles finished first in the league with 32 rushing touchdowns, right, with 13 one. coming from Hurts. Key, who do you have more confidence in in this matchup, Daniel Jones or Jalen Hurts? The guy who's going to be second in MVP voting, Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Way more confidence right. in Jalen Hurts than Danny Dimes. And I know Danny Dimes has turned the page, and, and, and everyone has confidence in him in New York now, including you, Molly. He looks terrific. There's no question about it. He is the Giants quarterback of the future. But Jalen Hurts, he just unleashed. Before he continue, I just want to say that. That boy, Daniel Jones. He's going to get paid by the Giants this offseason. He's the Giants quarterback. He's not an elite quarterback yet, but shit, he's a franchise quarterback for the Giants. And he was looking good last game. 300 yards, 77 yards. But I think when you look at the, the late season troubles that he may have had because of the injury and he didn't look himself like the beginning of the season, I'm not worried about that now. He's well rested. And when you think about it, this team at home is rallying to go get the, Phil uh, uh, go get the New York Giants. He's in a position to do something that hasn't been done for Philadelphia with a young quarterback in a very, very long time. I'm he has the you. offensive weapons with Daniel Jones. He has some competent receivers, but he doesn't have nearly uh, the A.J. Browns of the world, the Devontae Smiths of the world. So when you start to look at this, I do like Jalen Hurts more. I have more confidence in him, and I think he's just made for this situation. I see the uh, the Giants offense as, like, I seen the Eagles offense last year, like, we had like the little RPO stuff going. We had a couple little players, but we didn't have the whole roster full. That's what I, that's what I see with the Giants. Wait, you look at when he took over this job, all he did was get better. In his first full year as a starter, he takes his team to the playoffs, although they did lose to a team Giants in Tampa Bay that had a solid receiver, defense in Tom Brady. Defense, now look at him. He has the a number one seed. The number one seed, he gets a chance to play at home in an evening game on a Saturday night. Hopefully you'll be there to see him drop an L on the Giants' head. I tell you what, you know. what have you done for me lately? And right now, the better quarterback and the quarterback has been playing better, be it because of injury or not, has been Daniel Jones. I think Dayball has done a tremendous. Now, I just want you to be real with yourself, sir. He just said, I understand he had this uh, last little, I believe the last six games, he had a good little stretch or whatever. But, bro, be real. It's Daniel Jones. And Jalen Hurts, all you got to do is put their stats next to each other. Daniel Jones played the whole season, I, I believe. Don't, I ain't watched every game, so don't, don't, don't uh, tell me I'm wrong. Get in the comments if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, put their stats next to each other. Jalen Hurts is a way better quarterback than Daniel Jones. Job and simplifying the offense for him. If it's not there, one read, two read, go. You talk about this great you know, uh, Philadelphia Eagles pass rush. But when you have a mobile quarterback and you and you want to get back and whenever he sees cover one, he just takes off and make you pay the price. So they're going to have to put a spy on there for him and it's going to open up. We got athletes on defense, bro. Daniel Jones is not going to run all over us like he did then. That's a, I believe it was a 30-second ranked pass defense, bro. We're not like that. You know, the, the real estate behind the linebackers in front of the safeties. And I just believe that, you know, really running Saquon Barkley and the reason why they have a number one, you know, top five rush attack is because Daniel Jones is able to hurt you with his legs. But I think we, we really don't give him enough credit for his ability to be able to throw the deep ball accurate with pace and touch and right where his receivers can catch the ball. Right now, I'm worried about Jalen Hurts and his rust, the rust factor coming back and sitting another week. Yes, he be fucking real. Jalen Hurts is resting, bro. I promise you this rest shit they talking about, all that's about to go out the window as soon as we start blowing their ass out. He's going to get uh, more healthy, but, you know, his timing looked off when he came back, and Wink is going to light him up. I think if, they, if they're going to play the right way, they're going to have to expose him with some of those runs. That's when the Philadelphia Eagles are at their best. 
And to do that, they're going to expose their quarterback that is coming in with an ailing shoulder. And you don't get better against a weak Markdell defense, I believe. Dexter Lawrence is the best defensive lineman in the. Why do you think the last week of the season we ran that plain, uh, that plain offense was not running Jalen Hurts at all? I'm telling you, bro. We're going to get Jalen Hurts back running his shoulder. I feel like it's healthier than everybody's saying, bro. Honestly. This game, and I think he makes it hell for uh, Jalen Hurts. And third time is the charm, baby. He makes it hell for Jalen Hurts. Well, you're asking the wrong guy when you think about the Giants playing the Eagles, right? Ask me what I think. It's just, I, 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 Molly, I'm glad you're going to the game. I hope you have a nice ride. I hope Wait, you enjoy hey, it. Hey, don't hey, go to the game, Molly. Don't, 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 don't steal people. Cool. Hold I'm on. Just, put me on camera. Can you guys put me on camera? First yeah, put you on coach. camera, please, first of, all, first of all, Coach, I need tickets. So if you okay. can work on that. I already asked okay. Stephen A in the A block, so I need someone to get me tickets. All right? So you need to be a box. I don't care if I'm on Philly's side. You just need to be a box. Have you taken that? Don't Philly people are crazy. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful, Place to visit, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, we got all the sites down there, Liberty Bell and all that yeah. good stuff. I'm not worried about um, that. I just want to watch the game. All right. Keep but talking trash, though, Herm. I didn't, you're, I didn't, you're, you you're, going in, you're going to play my Eagles, so I'll tell you this. Um, I, I thought, I thought uh, Jones did a great job uh, last week against uh, a team that really uh, scores a lot of points offensively. But defensively, uh, the Minnesota Vikings are a little bit below the Philadelphia Eagles defense. Philadelphia Eagles defense has a lot of speed, uh, especially uh, in the back. That's what I just said. We got speed demons on defense. We, all we got to do is put the QBs behind Darren Jones. Darren Jones runs fast, but he's not that damn fast. Bro. Their defense. Uh, linebackers can run. And, and, you know, and, and, and Jones did a great job of running. Yeah. And when that happened, I said, uh-oh, Philly's going to have to worry about something. Now they got a running quarterback, a guy that can run and make plays with his legs. Uh, but, but Key said it earlier. Hur hurts. I mean, look, until he got hurt, we were talking about this guy being the MVP. Thank Why? You. Because he improved as a passer. He improved yeah, as a passer, right? Thank he's you. a great runner. We knew that. The guy almost ran for 1,100 yards. I mean, he's, he's run the, he ran the ball 165 times. Mm. Okay, but with that being said, I think he's playing a defense a little bit different than the one he saw in Minnesota. So beware. Mm. Coach, Beware. Thank you. Coach, I appreciate you clearing that up for me because I was a little confused about Minnesota's defense and Philly's defense. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. Thanks for breaking that down for me. You got linebackers. Thanks. I, I, I they got guys like Bart on that, but, on that Philly but, defense that but, can but, run and hit, and hit thanks, the play in space. But, 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 but Coach, appreciate their Achilles heel, their weakness is the strength of the Giants. And that's Saquon Barkley through that line of scrimmage. Remember, they went out and had to get in Dompkins. What did Saquon Barkley do the first time we met the Giants? Oh, okay. That's to Linville Joseph for a reason. Because if you're going to play, and I think Dayball game plan is going to keep that high-powered offense on the sideline. You know, three, four yards. You know, being able to move the sticks and win the time of possession so that it puts more pressure on Jalen Hurts. Who is the favorite? Right? They're, they're favorite. They're supposed to win. All the pressure is on the Philadelphia Eagles. They have the number one record. They're the number one seed. And when I've been sent home early in the playoffs, it's been when I've been the number one seed and I come off and the team has already been in playoff mode. The Giants can jump on them early before they realize and get used to the playoff tempo and the tip and the playoff speed, which is on a whole nother level. And no, you make a great These point. These are the Eagles we're talking and, and about. Look, as much as we talk about the Dallas Cowboys, the pressure on the Dallas Cowboys, we don't say that about the Philadelphia Eagles, but there's Thank pressure you. on the Philadelphia Eagles as well because they were the number one seed walking into this. And they were rolling for a while, and then they had two bad losses. Right? They had two bad losses now, and you kind of scratch your head. They'll be ready in Philadelphia for this game. Trust me. I'm telling you, I played in this game a lot. The out of road or we in Philly. Against the Giants. Are you going, Coach? I know a little bit of something about the Giants. Coach, the you flying east? You flying east? I don't, I don't know yet. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be here in the studio, but I don't. Uh, well, you never know. You never okay. know. Okay. All right, that's going to conclude it, bro. That's basically saying, uh, dude on the left is basically saying he think Daniel Jones is going to go crazy, bro. And honestly, I feel like it's going to be a good game at the beginning, but I feel like the Eagles is going to be too much for them. The Giants don't got enough stars, honestly. I feel like we don't got enough star power, and I feel like we got too much speed on defense. But uh, that's going to conclude it, man. Um, besides that, that's going to conclude the video for me. It's been your boy Sammy two times. I'm going to get up out of here. Everybody watching this video, have a blessed day. God bless y'all. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get up out of here. Drop a big like and subscribe to the channel, man.